oddly, um, it, it took me almost 40 years of writing pieces inspired by the big world, uh, but usually heard in, indoors in the small world, to finally get the idea of, um, of composing a, a piece intended from the get-go to be heard outdoors. Huh. And um, that piece, of course, was Inuk Suite. And it was provoked by the experience with, um, with uh, an earlier incarnation of Redfish, Bluefish, playing uh, one of the pieces, uh, the piece they'll play tomorrow morning here at sunrise, Strange and Sacred Noise. Strange and Sacred Noise is a concert-length work that's a, a, it's, it's a celebration of noise, of noise as, as, um, as complex aperiodic sound, noise as, um, I mean, as, as John Cage said, uh, you know, uh, most of what we hear around us most of the time is noise. And, um, and when, we, when, we, when we try to ignore it, it disturbs us. And when we listen to it, we, we find it fascinating. So the Strange and Sacred Noise is, is a celebration of noise in, in that sense. Uh, it's a celebration of, of noise as, um, as a metaphor, if you will, for, uh, for, for elemental, the elemental violence of nature, for calving glaciers, raging wildfires, um, uh, violent weather, but also noise as a gateway to ecstatic experience, which it is in many, many cultures um, um, throughout history, throughout the world. Um, certainly Eskimo, Eskimo drumming, uh, Inuit drumming and dancing, is, um, is, is, an, is a, an ecstatic experience that's provoked by unison, violent, uh, rapid fire, um, uh, asymmetrical unison drumming. Uh, think of the whirling dervishes, or mm -hmm. rock and roll, or you know, there are all these experiences in which we overload our, 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 our hearing, uh, our sensory apparatus, in order to, to find a different um, state of mind. So Strange and Sacred Noise is about all these things. But the piece is intended to be heard within the four walls. Um, and and it, it, it relies on the, uh, the enclosure of an, uh, an enclosed acoustic space. Um, and it fills the space, it saturates the space, it overloads the space. It's, it's, it's kind of frightening at times. And that's the experience. Well, several years ago, a brilliant young percussionist, uh, Robert Essler, was a member of Red Fish, Blue Fish, got the idea as part of his uh, doctoral dissertation at UCSD to take two of my percussion pieces, Mathematics of Resonant Bodies, which is a solo piece with electronics, and Strange and Sacred Noise, outside. Yeah. And I still don't really understand Rob's thesis. He's a lot smarter than I am. But um, we did a series of performances of noise um, the, uh, in, in the, the, the first was in the Anza Borrego Desert, outside of, of, of San Diego, and um, in the, the woods in New England, and a meadow in, in, um, in Ohio, and then ultimately on the tundra in, in, in my home in Alaska. But that first experience in the desert of hearing strange and sacred noise was, was for me humbling mm -hmm. um, and provocative in a very positive way, because here was this thing that I thought was so big and and powerful and, and even scary, and a lot of it just blew away in the wind. Uh, we think we're so clever and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and so important, and you know, anytime we step outside, we, we kind of get reminded that we're not, we're not really all that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that, then and there, I thought, okay, it's time to make a piece that's intended to be to hurt, hurt outdoors. And to see if I could uh, imagine music as a vehicle, as a, as, as a means of, of, um, uh, of exploring, of hearing where we are, and to open up the music in a way that, um, in, in which maybe the boundaries between the piece and the place become completely permeable. And um, so that was, the result was Inuksuit, and now I, I can't stop. I'm <laughs> I'm working on a, another large outdoor piece now. Oh, great. Um, but at the same time, in a few weeks' time, the Seattle Symphony will premiere yes. a brand new orchestral piece. I'm so thrilled the about that. Yeah, it's a piece called Become Ocean. 
And so come, come on up to Seattle um, June 20th, 22nd, and 23rd.